Ladies and gents, welcome back. We're here for the third fixture of the day. This is Kuro versus Brackenfell. Uh, this Kuro side is well set up for this encounter. And this is Kuro Langeban, who are coached by Zabit Finter. The Kuro Langeban boys side also had a few interesting encounters yesterday. And as this game kicks off, we have the first turnover and Brackenfell ladies look to build up with Pacey on this outside. And coach Kirsten Sinclair leading this one out from Brackenfell with Monique Smith as the team manager. And I'm joining the box here by a man who needs little introduction, Mr. Kurt Serfontein. Kurt, how has your morning been? Uh, it's been uh, good thus far, Randall. Um, always good to be on the side of the hockey field, whether as a coach or a spectator <laughs> <laughs> or commentator. Ooh, and uh, umpire JD. Coach JD and Coach AB uh, instructing players to look at the umpire. And the first card ended out. Yeah, some might say it's a little bit drastic, but rules are rules. Uh, very early in the game, umpire is stamping the authority. <laughs> Brackenfell ladies side, they're captained by Marichal Miller. She'll be looking to lead the squad to a win. Oh, interesting little bubble there. Great tracking back to get that ball back. Yeah, just looking at that final pass that was delivered there by the Brackenfell player, Sina. A tendency, even in the in the two earlier boys matches, to overuse this uh, reverse stick pedal uh, when it's not necessary, uh, for lack of a better word. Uh, just too many players turning on the possession cheaply in that manner. Good skill to have in your skill set, but it's got to be used at the at the appropriate time. Yeah, as I mentioned before, also about you. You want the ball going through sticks, you don't want blind passes going through. And a lot of time the pedal just seems, as you said, it's being used in the wrong situations, but again, lots of wild swinging so far, but it looks like both sides just looking to get settled. Practical ladies are playing at a much higher pace on foot at least yeah, Kiro Langaban on the counter now got a play going through the center of the field in these early stages uh, neither of the teams necessarily using the width mm. <coughs> Could just be the the fact that they are not really maintaining position from a technical perspective. There was a potential for a quick turnover and a double turnover, but big pass goes across the field and looking for another big one straight into the D and that ball is rolling and she's chasing after it. Over the baseline for 16. Yeah, both teams seem to be extremely direct in the approach, um, you know, bypassing the midfield from defense, um, looking at these long passes. But uh, it's you, you'll be successful at that if your technical execution is is, is uh, up to scratch. With all due respect. Oh, Kiro Langaban looking for a big ball and ooh, what a swing there. Eh? 
En daar was Marischal Mille, de Brackenveld captain. We don't have a point of defense, and now she finally steps up for Kiro. Lange ban. The major difference in these two squads is just the, the pace on foot is a little bit unbalanced between the two, but it may just be a matter of decision making. And as they look to string a few passes together, big call for release from Coach Jabir Fenter. Just looking to consolidate and maintain a little bit of position. And that one just rolling over the sideline. Yeah, that was a more encouraging passage of play there from the uh, Kuro group uh, in terms of the connectivity and the connections they managed to 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 get going there. So hopefully. Uh, both teams a lot more settled now. High sideline press there from the Kiro Langeban team. And it's paid off opportunity to go toward goal. And unfortunately not capitalizing. That was the clearest scoring opportunity so far in this match. Situation getting the better of her. Yep, yeah, Brackenfell come with the pace and ball just finding its way to a player but rolling over the baseline for 16. And they looked over a little passing line set up there. Yeah. Brackenveld side just uh, in, the, in the incursions into the curious circle seem to be favoring that right hand channel. Kuro going more the central route most of the time. There was uh, Kuro Langaban captain Antje van der Mest. Very direct line straight through, but she opts for what she deems was the easier pass. And now they look to expand the field again. Well intercepted. And intercepted again. And the sniper comes out once. Second time today. <laughs> Yeah, just interesting for me, Randall, is that both teams, especially in defense and midfield, the, the you know, something that, that, that we work on a lot with players is um, upon reception of the ball, these, these players all take their stick off the ball. They lose so much time when they could just be rather playing a, a very decent, well-weighted push pass to make better connections, but everybody seems to take their stick off the ball. They, looking to hit when they don't really have to opportunity and we have the first goal of the game quite fortuitous there for Buck and Fall as the Kiro defender mistrapped that ball in the nine yard area and we see Buck and Fall go one nil here in this contest between the two teams and once again down that favoured right hand channel of the Buck and Fall team but it was mistrapped there by the initial Kiro defender and good enough finish there from the Brackenfall player. There's confirmation there was Antonet Marsh who scored that one.
Now a small battle starting to form on the field. Good interception there by Anshu van der Mesh. Kiro Langaban, captain. Probing down that right channel again. Play unfortunately unable to get to the end of that pull. Interesting that you mentioned the concept of keeping the ball on your stick. Which also allows you to keep your eyes up. And potential for another goal there and just going wide. Brackenfall finding a lot more opportunities to get into the Kuro D. Kuro should probably be looking to hit the outlet to the wide zones. They're still favoring going up the middle, which is not where you want to be playing the ball. Such a good turn there by the young lady in the middle of the park and throwing the big ball and Kiro attack comes forward looking for an easy ball on the outside and sending one in well cleared and was the well worked passage of play was potential for a short corner there. Sorry, um. And uh, umpire AB just asking for a little bit of calm there. comes in and first shot and don't think she had the ball there yeah, but really brave defense there as well uh, Randall from that Kuro Langeban defender she got into the very close and tight um, as that uh, Brackenfall striker tried to have that shot at goal yeah, you know the medical aid is played up when you stand there <laughs> Very good ball into the D, another opportunity and uh, probably the wrong option there. Eh? She, she she had a teammate standing sort of in just to the left of the nine yard side. It would have been a simple tapping goal. You know, sometimes it comes down to just being smart as a as a striker and starting to identify the patterns early. You see the keeper likes to sit back on the line. Back they come, right up the middle of the park. Yeah, so this is this is just the pattern here with the outlet from the Kuro Langaban side. Going direct, going down the middle of the pitch and allowing the Brackenfell team to turn them over in the middle of the park on numerous occasions. Finding they were close, but looks like they'll be coming back now. Uh, less than five minutes remaining in the first half of this encounter between Kuro Langeban and Brackenfall, with Brackenfall 
enjoying the advantage at this point by a single goal. Back and forth looking to even up matters. A little bit of a wild challenge there, but the Brackenfell striker finds her way through. She has someone in the circle. Yeah, uh, good defense there from the Kyra Langeban uh, players. And umpire JD Hendricks not taking any prisoners and. Issuing a green card to one of the black and white players who are playing within the rules of being five meters of the feet. Yeah, Coach uh, Kirsten Sinclair not happy. Uh, let's see if the Kuro Langaban team can use the superiority in numbers to the advantage. It's been an interesting change with the Kuro Langaban play over the this off and they looked a bit frantic at the start but they starting to connect passes now and they have lots of support from the Kiro Langaban boys up in the stands on the other side Euro team coach by Zabet Fenter with uh, Renette as assistant coach. He's also the coach of the Kiro Langevin boys team. Uh, Kiro Langevin uh, fairly new in the entry into the uh, school hockey leagues. And uh, obviously starting a process where they, they need to be setting good foundations and uh, we, we certainly hope that they will um, be successful in those objectives. Yeah, we love seeing competitive squads building over the years. Okay, attempted crash ball in there, but the Kuro Langaban player on that BBG line easily making the intervention there. Good positional play from her. Just about two minutes left and you must feel like Brackenfell has players just given the space to run through. Uh, just a pure lack of awareness there from the Kuro Langevin team in terms of the, the setup in defending that free hit. Should ideally have a point of defence five metres off from that free hit. There's no one home there which allowed that Brackenfell player just to drive into the circle. Oh my oh. goodness. What a play there. That was a pure build up. A bit of a shake and go and finding the space but just again not completing the process. Brackenfell just down the right-hand channel, as they would. We're starting to see a pattern here as Brackenfell exploit the pace on the outside. Yeah, the right channel, like I said earlier, definitely been the, the, the strengths. Um, second time now we've seen the ball flash across the face of goal. We could have been tapped in by someone on the far post in that zone. And off she goes again. Mm. Yeah, that young lady just seeming to find three or four extra gears of pace there. Mm. So, as half time quickly comes upon us, uh, Rock and Falk coach Kirsten Sinclair probably looking at getting that second goal uh, of the Kuro Langevin staff will probably be wanting to get back into this game they still have 20 minutes to do so uh, Kuro Langevin have slowly improved as the time has gone on and again thanks to now Wena Cyber Security Specialist for 
the support at this tournament as well as four ways online thanks again to es media ladies and gents we will be back in one minute Back we come with uh, Kirovis's Brackenfell. First off score, 1-0 uh, with Brackenfell in the lead. And immediately seeing a bright and wide away Kiro side. A few creative passes. Kurt, anything that stood out to you so far with uh, this first off? Yeah, first off, definitely uh, the Kiro side. Um, Probably uh, opting to go through through the middle of the field. I think they, 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 they should be a lot better, I would like to think, on the outlets than, and use the width of the field. Uh, the back and fall side definitely um, their strength on the right hand side from an offensive perspective. Um, haven't seen too many short corners from either team. I don't think we've had any in this match. I'd uh, like yep. to see what they offer there. Seeing a much more creative Kuro side. As they look to recycle and find their way back, and unfortunately turning over to Brackenfell, but back Brackenfell come and they're going to look to use their pace. Yeah, not unfortunately, the waiting of the pass not great there. Uh, definite opportunity to launch a counter, and uh, yeah, something that I've seen as a pattern in the first three games in terms of counter opportunities uh, yeah it's, it's actually also people don't realize or coaches don't realize that it is a set piece play that can be can be trained and there can be predetermined zones that you want to move the ball into in the counter so it just with all due respect pretty much seems sort of all off the cuff right now Did all the hard work to, to, to maintain position there from the Kuro player. But, but uh, yeah, no. I don't believe the whistle had gone there. I think they're yeah. all still alive. Yeah. 
and no one's going to it. That reverse stick pass has been successful now. Oh, look at the burn on the outside. But I felt do have the pace on the outside as they look to get into the D, but what a tackle on top D. Had the option. Just a little bit. Looks like she may have taken a stick to the ankle, but she seems fine. Opportunity of Akira's loose ball in the D and and perfect opportunity to equalize there and probably wondering how she missed that one but a lot more encouraging from the Kyoto Brackenfall team in terms of the offensive play yeah at this point I'd like to blame the Southeaster for that one Definitely not the camera of the moment on AstroTurf, so uh, probably the wind. I'm sure the viewers at home heard the collective groan of the entire park there. This, that was a prime opportunity, but they will be coming back for sure. They definitely look like they have their tails up here. Come looking to take advantage on the outside playing straight to the Kiro stick. Lucky enough to win that one. There's a big call there for a crash ball and goes straight to the stick. Kiro come back and they seem to have numbers in the middle of the field. And they're on straight into Brackenfell's stick and Brack Brackenfell comes and here she comes again. This young lady has been quite pacing on the outside, finds her way in. Kiro win that one. Yeah, I've been very impressed Randall with the Kiro central defenders in terms of the interception ability by moments. Um, seem to be a lot more disciplined in the second half. I think probably a little bit of guidance there by Coach David Fenter. This ball rolls all the way across and it's open again and straight on to the kit and the second one goes for three points. Just missing that drop goal. Both sides within a matter of two minutes having an opportunity to score goals. And unfortunately, the scoreboard remains unchanged with uh, Brackenfeld still leading this encounter one goal to nil. Still enough time left in this game. Anything can happen. Both teams have seemingly just turned up the pace and decided they actually want to score. And here Kira Langeban comes, they have numbers on the outside. A bit of a wayward pass there. Yeah, what I've seen from, from, from probably from both teams is, is uh, you know, we speak about passing stick to stick. Uh, passes haven't been accurate or they're not playing the ball into space for players to lead on to. There's a step again from that central defender. One thing that I've been liking from the Brackenfell side is looking to make use of that hatch pass, but the Kuro Central defenders are up to the task. Yeah, no, no, I said that. The Kuro Central defenders have, have stepped up nicely. Still so has a ball, clean shot, and I believe that one was going in. She scores.
Yeah, so Kudo, Rock and Fall. You see the replay here. Player driving in who shot off top D. Teammate misses it and uh, third, fourth phase of play. And we see the reverse stick, little paddle to beat the goalkeeper. And that was scored again by Antoinette. Scored the first goal for Brackenfell. Kiro defense managing to get the ball out there. Uh, Rockenthal building through the middle again as they normally do. Ooh, calm defense there. Just under 11 minutes remaining in this contest. The Black and Fall team now with a 2 0 advantage. Oh, big ball goes straight in and it's bouncing around wild. Kiro managed to get it out and straight to play on the outside and building. But intercepted yet again. for Brackenfell was snuffed out by the Kiro defense and played straight back. I almost feel like there is an opportunity here for Brackenfell to put another on the board, but Kiro looking to find their way back to the other side of the park, just losing a footing there and back Brackenfell comes and Young lady Antoinette. As uh, Monique Smith, the uh, assistant coach and team manager, says, uh, just walk it off. Yesterday was actually a day for injuries. We had a few concussions, a few hard knocks to the head, a few knee injuries. Nice long ball. with an opportunity and Brackenfall still in an attacking position this has seen a slight change where Brackenfell are now looking to play straight up the middle instead of exploiting that uh, the pace that they've had on the outside and we have the first penalty corner of the match and just to come back on that comment from yourself, Randall, I truly believe that the the, the, the Kudo Langevin team have lost a bit of structure. They, they've now allowed those spaces in the middle of the field in, in, in zone 2, which is allowing the Brackenfall team to, to drive into those spaces. So, could be the desperation to, to get back into this game that has created this lack of structure in this Kuro to Tangaman side. Let's see how we go with this penalty corner. First one of the match. Going for the straight poke and well defended there by Kuro. Seems to be a bit of confusion there with amongst both teams. It actually is a 23 meter free hit to Drakenfall. A little bit of interception there, but losing the ball now outside. And <coughs> I think something just flew in my throat there.
little bit more confusion here, but they get the 16. Or is it? Oh, it is a long corner. Oh no, it's a 16. Something that's also been interesting in this match is the amount of dead ball that's just been left without a whistle being blown. Yeah. <coughs> Not sure what that's about, Randall. But uh, uh, with the Kuro Langaban team, I'd really want to be using the time wisely. <laughs> just under six minutes remaining in this match. A small part of me wants to see Kiro just put something on the board here. They've been working towards it. Yeah, we go back to that 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 missed opportunity on the far post. Uh, probably five minutes into this off could have changed the complexion of this game. That would have been the equalizer. Trickles through and 16 yard to Brackenfall. Simple enough out there. No one setting up in a press there for, for Kuro Langaban. But then Brackenfall just turned the ball over very cheaply. I think that'll be a point of frustration for both coaches where players turning over ball without any pressure. Being a key example there as ball well finds his way to top D and the Brackville plays the laser ball. She has lots of space, flicks it through and good save and third goal coming here from the rebound opportunity. Brackville player in the ideal position, uh, but also this goal coming over as a result of a very soft turn turnover. Bianca Anderson putting that initial save in and follow up being scored. Brackenfeld team with a comfortable 3 more lead with uh, just three and a half minutes remaining in this contest. That is the confirmation that goal was scored by Beyonce Kluter. She gets the ball in the lead. She has an the opportunity there, but good clearance by Bianca Anderson. She keeps it in. Well, edge pass across and. By JD saying it's a foot on its way through. Kira uh, back and forth with that very direct outleting option, just looking to hit the long ball up to the forward line. And unfortunately, no one on the end of that long pass. But uh, look at the half so far, just over two and a half minutes left. We've seen that it seems as if uh, both sides are looking to build on a plan. And as the game has gone on, they've gotten closer and closer to that uh, plan on paper. But Brackenfell coming away three goals so far with uh, Kiro finding their way into that side of the park. 
He's cute of all, but nobody seems to be fetching the ball. Yeah, very good gamesmanship there from the, the team. Gets the ball on top there, but must trap and Brackenfell able to get this one away. A minute and a half left, and just throwing it back into the middle of the park and straight back onto Kiro stick. Find their way on the top of D and ball inside. She's right in front of the goalkeeper. Good save by Bianca Anderson and great clearance and balls just running around without any friends to help it to goal. Yeah. Bit of a frenetic period of play inside the Kuro Langeban circle there. And uh, just about 30 seconds remaining here, so rock and fall. Team will be happy in the knowledge that uh, they sh they sh should be victorious. Balls just rolling around the short corner, and that will be the last play of the day. And the second short corner of this match in total. Mm. Let's see how this one plays out. I'm sure Coach uh, Kristen Sinclair will be happy with what she's seen. One final play here. Accurate push out and shot, but she. Misses that one, and that'll be the end of the game. 3 0 to Kiro Brackenfell. Excuse me, to Brackenfell versus Kiro Langeban. And next matchup will be Molten First Team Ladies versus Bridge First Team Ladies. And we will see you in a few minutes.